You therefore, beloved. Now, what happens when you see beloved or brethren in the New Testament? You, you might as well go and put your name on it. Because it's right to you. Since you know this beforehand. See how the Holy Spirit tells you of things to come? Since you know this beforehand, beware lest you fall from your own steadfastness. What's that talking about? Your foundation. Being led away with the error of the wicked. See, people that believe the term once saved, always saved. The proper way to say it is unconditional eternal security. I'm secure throughout eternity. It's not conditioned on me. That's, and that's complete error. It's error. Only the devil would pitch that. Because covenant, by definition, is two parties coming into an agreement. If you're going to go to heaven, you're going to be in agreement with God that Jesus is Lord. Which means he's your boss. And you can't just go through the motions. I mean, you already know if you go to a banking institution and you go through all the paperwork, sign all the paper, and you say, I will pay this much for this car on this date, and then you don't do it, they're going to come get your car. They'll be lenient that first month. But why push it? Why push it? Say, well, God's so gracious. I know he's long-suffering. We've been reading this. But he's talking to you over and over again about your steadfastness. What are you looking at? What's your foundation? What's your behavior like? What's your conduct like? And you know what? Most American Christians, they act like God doesn't even care. They're not reading their Bible. All you need is 2 Pete 3, and you'll be like, okay, I see it straight. You can fall from your own steadfastness. You can build upon the foundation of Christ, get distracted, start building something else in your life and get off that foundation. And I'm telling you to not get back on it. There's nothing steadfast in this world but Christ Jesus. There's nothing that you can depend on like the Word of God. People will let you down. Don't look to people. It's why I pray it all the time. And I said it even tonight when we started service. Jesus, we look to you. You're the author. You're the finisher. If you start looking around, you're going to find a reason to give up. But if you look at him, you'll say, oh, I've still got a reason to praise. Things aren't going how I want. They might be gossiping about me saying this, but I've got a reason to praise. I've got a reason to praise him. Glory to God. 